Lived experience most commonly refers to individuals who may have endured hardship, exclusion, or marginalization. It is often associated with domains like poverty, gender, race, sexuality, education, and mental and physical health. While we have historically viewed these areas from a perspective of disadvantage, that is shifting to the added value they can provide in leadership, designing and improving policies, systems, programs, and services. You may have seen some examples of this in large Canadian complex systems transformation in pharmacare, mental health and addictions, and homelessness, to name just a few. I have transformed areas of potential disadvantage in my own life for positive personal community and career outcomes. These include growing up as a creative gay kid on the conservative Caribbean islands of Trinidad and Tobago, where up until only recently, it was illegal to be gay. Immigrating to Canada as a foreign trained professional, using my experience to create a number of community initiatives and innovations that have impacted over 40 communities across Canada, and leveraging my unique perspective to develop myself and progressive leadership roles in both the for-profit and non-profit worlds. If we examine the current state of lived experience initiatives, we will see four emerging themes. One, a proliferation of opportunities for individuals in over 300 government committees and 11,000 potential community committees right here in Ontario. Reports of the value of lived experience in making systems more purposeful, effective, collaborative, and innovative. Three, reports of its value to individuals who feel more included, can participate in, connect to, and find greater opportunity in their communities. And four, significant limitations due to initiatives being largely volunteer-based, frontline worker-focused, with limited resource and research investment to date. There is a huge untapped lived experience innovative opportunity due to four factors. One, unemployment, underemployment, and precarious employment rates in lived experience populations that are consistently above that of the general population. Two, a growing Canadian skills gap that suggests hundreds of thousands of jobs will go unfilled as early as today if we don't do something differently. Three, employers reporting a readiness to move away from traditional recruitment to hire individuals they can develop due to the declining cost of training programs. And four, the need for innovation in employment support services where job seekers, employers, and funders are demanding change. Introducing the Lived Experience Accelerator Program, or LEAP, that has five innovative service pillars. One, the screening of individuals with lived experience for those with leadership potential. Two, placing these individuals on a roster of paid lived experience committee roles. Three, creating a subsequent new lived experience job category with employers. Four, appropriate development of both job seekers and employers towards the shared goal of job retention and career success. And finally, five, the evaluation of the model inclusive of metrics for the individual, committees, businesses, and the broader community. The plan is to move LEAP through a three-phase lean experimentation process that has proven successful for social innovations. In phase one, we will continue to build the LEAP evidence base and refine its minimum viable product, or MVP. In phase two, we will test and pilot our MVP. In phase three, we will scale LEAP across the employment support services sector. We have a detailed 30-month pilot plan for the first two phases of LEAP, inclusive of a six-month MVP refinement period, a 24-month test period during which we will screen 52 individuals for leadership potential, place 30 of them on paid committee roles, and secure full-time employment for 12 individuals. Individuals will move from a reliance on social supports to minimum wage committee work and competitive employment with ongoing skill and career development. My vision is to create an award-winning LEAP model. It has a detailed budget of $495,000 
with funding targeted from four specific sources. A competitive investment cost per worker of under $15,000 per year. Significant job seeker incentives to increase their income by 122%, moving from social supports, and then another 21% moving to full-time employment. Participating employer incentives with a 24% saving in labor costs and a plan to conduct a third-party economic return on investment study to prove the model's effectiveness for large-scale investment. In closing, LEAP is inspired by my own journey of leveraging the power of lived experience to transform policies, systems, programs, services, and ultimately the lives of others. As one of my personal heroes, the late Maya Angelou has said, the wisest thing we can do is be on our own sides, advocate for ourselves and others like us.